easy to turn into terrorist weapons or to take the explosive that's in here, uh, just inside the end here, and uh, turn it into a, a, a quite a significant bomb. Well, this one's locked by a piece of string. Hairs on my arms are standing up. The, the rusty ones, they apparently are the ones that they found outside the base, ones that uh, just people would steal and take them apart in, in the bushes, take copper parts and just throw them around. You can see they're, they're falling apart. Yeah, and that means once, once they start rusting, they can explode on their own. How many are there here? Do we know? Hundreds? Thousands? Just these in this are, room? These are the 30,000 that they dismantled. Now they need to melt TNT out. Okay. Scientists here are trying to dismantle the shells and remove the explosives, but they're hopelessly underfunded. I was then taken to see far more powerful rockets lying unprotected and unguarded. There's not even money for petrol for a lawnmower to cut the dry grass, a major fire risk. There are 200 kilos of TNT in each rocket. One can destroy almost anything. They are extremely powerful. For example, a skyscraper, no problem. How easy would it be for somebody to take the explosives in these missiles and use them in a terrorist weapon? Everything is inside, that's why a small spark or static discharge will detonate them. You could detonate one with a small battery. This is the fence around the base. There is no fence, there's nothing there. The director's just mentioned that soon this base will be reclassified. At the moment it's a military base, so it has five guards. Uh, soon it's gonna, not going to be a military base anymore, so even those five guards are going to be taken away. And all these guns, all the missiles, all the shells, tens of thousands of shells, will be completely unguarded. Which is why we're not going to tell you where they are. We travelled west to Abkhazia, the largest of Georgia's breakaway states. After declaring independence, they also fought a war with Georgia in the early 90s that killed thousands and ended in an easy stalemate. The United Nations has an unarmed presence in Abkhazia. This checkpoint is under Russian responsibility and uh, they're responsible for security here. Beautiful. We'd been warned it would be difficult to